Well, we found it. Tinkerbell, a one-handed non-lethal club. Deals less damage with the chance to knock out a target using a strong attack. Maybe just for a little bit of irony if we run into this guy. We throw this in here. The Tinkerbell, Peter Pan. <laughs> Gross. Understanding your team. Man, this guy, he's went all out on trying to find all this info. Page not found. Page should not be displayed for help. Please contact Netwatch. Did Netwatch find his stuff? Local network, we're going to turn off this stuff. Disable security. And I guess we're going to also, whoops, turn off this generator, which would power all the turrets and stuff. It's got that brain kit or brain dance user manual that we saw. And I imagine these are the same messages. Yes. From his other computer. Okay, so now we need to find a way into the barn. Covered in thick organic residue? There's no doubt he's bringing people in here, eh? Oh, here's another way in. I hope that these are all disarmed. Target not electrically powered. Okay. Juice top eight dangers. Okay, we have a bunch of reading to do. And it's not going to be light reading. River, come here quick. See if he wants to lead the way here. Oh, fuck. Wow. My question is, is he here? Who's this? Randy. Holy smokes. Over here. He's here. Randy! We need to turn off this stuff somehow. Yeah, okay. Randy! 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, we're laying coordinates now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, dammit! Oh, and watch for automated defenses on the side. They're substantial. Hurry, gotta shut it off. Chemicals, the invisible killer. Go, 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 go. Okay, all disconnected. What about the Check others? The others. Yeah. <laughs> Could still be alive. Right. Wow, dude. Alive. Whoa. Whoa, easy there. Easy now. Hey, you're all right now. a few days already oh yeah and I'm, I'm like is he gonna be in here no he's not because he's at the uh he's at the station or whatever it's okay don't be scared we're here to help you're a bit dehydrated but you're gonna be fine help me with Randy. okay need to loosen this help me
Wow. Come on. He's alive. I think. Maybe. Oh my god. That is... What an investigation. We did it, River. Yep. We sure did. But I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. No, I, I get it. I get it. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. <laughs> Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. Oh, man. Ah! What do we do? Here's the, here's the issue, okay? The, the real issue here is that you can see that coming up from a young age, like, he was broken, this guy is an absolutely broken horrible parents like horrible like just bad life circumstances led him to this and like killing him is like okay fine he might feel better for a bit um and as much as i'd like to do it i just don't see what that solves other than probably fucking up river's life river come on man exactly Won't change anything exactly Anthony Harris is a sad sack of meat, hooked up to a respirator now. For how long? He has to die. It's the only way I'll be sure. Stop. Gonna throw your life away getting revenge on a brain-dead vegetable? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But it's driving me crazy not doing anything. I know, brother. Actually, got quite a bit you can do, River. Joss, Randy, the kids. They're gonna need you now. More than ever. Yeah. No, you're right. Forget about Harris. Take one day at a time. But rest first. Once your head's on straight again, give me a hollow. We'll talk. Yeah. Need a little time to myself now. But then I'll call you. I will. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. No problem. <laughs> hey, don't be a stranger. That was cool. Can I get a ride on that, or are you gonna leave me out here? No. Yeah, I guess we're here now. Maybe this is our new house. The one thing I feel like would be cool of him. Ah, shit. If he wanted to, like, burn this thing down, I'd be game. Not like I'm afraid of riding shotgun with you or anything, but some practice in before the next race, okay? Uh... <laughs> Consider me a menace on the road, or what? If anyone's a menace on the road, it's me. You just get us to the finish line in one piece. Come on, that's how I drive. It's part of my style. Embrace it. That's why I love you. But seriously, practice. <laughs> that doesn't really feel like our vibe there, but that's fine. Holy smokes. That's insane. Poor boys. All your years ever seen anything like this? Eight years in the force. Nothing comes close. Beyond twisted. Yeah, uh, that was uncomfortable, to say the least. Body 9 to get in there. Is there anything in here that we might need? I don't have body 9. So I don't think I'm getting in. 
Wow. Okay. <sighs> That's hard to recover from, but uh, we're going to have to try. There are some things out in the Badlands that we want to do. Don't want to buy vehicles. We want to eat with Pan Am for sure. And there was a second thing out here. There's a cab. And here, this is, um, I think these boots are made for walking. Pretty sure this is like our original car or something. Your old ride was total for good. Yeah, so why don't we jump out there, then we'll go to Pan Am. And see where this goes. Edgewood Farm. Yeah, I won't be forgetting you anytime soon. Welcome to today's local news. And I'm expecting to hear a call from River. Where we go and like kind of just debrief, maybe get an update on how Joss and the family are doing. And I actually think it was a good way to convince him. A plus C. What? Watch out for your back. What? I feel like that's a threat. Like, watch your back. But because he's Creole. Anyway, I feel like the argument of, yeah, you do have things you can do now. You can go help Joss and the kids. Really solidified it. One of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. Got it. So we'll grab this. We'll get Delamain's vehicle, and then we'll see uh, Pan Am. Dakota Smith. Hey v, I have some new work for you. A certain item needs to be salvaged from the landfill before some gonks chop it to pieces. Oh, okay. I've attached some more details for you. Thievery. Uh, there's this kid. Folks call him Joe. Red Joe. Now, this Joe kid has talent. Knows his hooks and jabs. I swear he can knock a horse's teeth out. Point is, kid's got what it takes to go pro. Problem is, coaches aren't easy to come by in the Badlands. But lo and behold, word is a next-gen sparring bots landed in Scrapyard there, still in working order. That's city folk for you. Second a piece of tech glitches, it gets tossed out in the trash, soft included. Anyways, back to the bot. Find it and download it software before they recycle it into metal straws or whatever it is NC people like. Oh, and one more thing. The guy that runs the landfill, watch out for him. Real piece of work. Where's this? Okay, so it's, it's like right here. It's the same, same deal. It's a little bit out of our range, though. That, would, that worries me a bit. Our vehicle must be just... Yeah, okay. Sweet. Oh, that's so cool. There she is. Beauty. In a damn long while, old friend. Hmm. Scan the car. Here. Fenders and trunk eaten away by rust. The rest of the body's still holding up. Wonder what's under the hood. It's warm. Uh oh was running just a short while ago. You coil, plugs. Somebody's clearly been tinkering with the camshaft. What's this now? Huh. New, but used. Salvaged from some other junker. Someone cleaned the cooling fan. Filled up the brake fluid. Except... Huh. With water. <laughs> All right. Seen enough. Hey, what the hands off my car? Hey, is she? I don't know. I think this is Alana, um, a Twitch streamer. I think. The... What? No, it's my car. No. Why would you leave it rusting in a yard? I didn't exactly. Cause it broke down, and I. And you abandon it, and now, out of nowhere, you remembered you'd left it. Likely story. <laughs> I've been busy. This last week, I put in sweat, smarts, anything to get this heat running. Should have started with the step motor. Would have been quicker. Says who? And why? 
Because it's iffy. It starts sticking. Clear the carbon deposits and it starts running like new again. Fuck! I replaced the entire throttle. Maybe you should have oh, talked someone who knew see? what they were doing. Takes the owner to really know a set of wheels. Forma, owner. Cause mine now. As soon as I'm done doing the basic fixes, I am leaving this fucking city in a cloud of exhaust. You seem desperate. Why you want to leave? No way you'd understand if you have to ask. Come on. Try me. Tell me. Tell you what, damn it? Look around you. Dirt, rot, shit, and scum. <laughs> this is where I'm from, I dude. I don't want to live here. Not now. We can help her out. I'll buy this car off you. Pay enough so you can get another. But it, it's a wreck. Well, then uh -huh. you should be happy to sell. My damn wreck. Come on. Take the cash before I change my mind. Jeez. Thanks. I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> so give it a think. While I take this baby for a ride. Thanks. Now, I wonder, I guess we have to get in. I wonder if we should do that other quest that's like right oh, yeah. here. It's like clock. Hey. Well, definitely no guy or girl magnet, but seems healthy under the hood. Don't know the half of it. Wait till I open her up. Not afraid you might. Ah, what can it hurt? I'm <laughs> dead anyway. Floor it, V. Oh, and we smashed immediately. V, one of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. Don't worry, Delamain. Yeah. I'm on it. Okay, so this is not a this is not very high rating, but I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see what we can do here. Now, apparently, the owner is a real problem. But maybe I can just... Oh. Speaking of. Veteran guard. Let's do a breach here and see what we can learn. Uh, there's some cameras. We can go... 5-5. Five, five. Oh, I don't see any E9s to connect to. Go 5-5. Five, five. One C, there's no E9s. One C, there's no E9s. I go 5-5. Five, five, start again. 5-5, five, 1-C, five, one E-9, e 7-A, 1-C, one 1-C. One there we go. 1-C, E-9, 7-A, 1-C, 1-C. Okay, there's actually quite a few people here. I can deactivate this. Find the broken bot. Yo, know, I'm guessing it's not just right here. over there it looks like oh it's leading me oh oh training bots in the truck that's pretty nice Oh, that worked out. 
easier than I thought. Oza, I've got your number from a friend. Heard you're good at what you do. If that's the God's honest truth, then I've got a gig for you. Call me if you're interested. Okay, does that come up somewhere? Call Ozob. Send in the clowns. What the frick? Okay, cool. Uh, let's try and wrap this gig up. Sparring partner. Do we have a drop point out here anywhere? Yes. Oh, this thing's got some zip, actually. That water for brake fluid really paying off. There's an assault here, so we what? can clean this up too. Guys, listen to some good tunes. Skill shard for handguns, very nice. Gain XP for the handgun skill, upgrade components, conversation between Merlin Onoraki and Logan Smith. Third third engine this month, can't be a fucking coincidence. Where'd you fill up? The fuck's that got to do with it? Just tell me where you stopped for gas. That guy by the dump. Check and see if he's not watering down the fuel. Could be it. All right, we're there. Fuck, gonk straight admitted it. Yeah, we'll hang around. Take it out in the unsuspecting clientele. First good idea you've had. Oh, look how that worked out. Shit. Thanks, stranger. That was a close one. Everything cool? I think there's an access point up top. Okay, we can connect these, I think, so... Go 1C, 1C. And then I want to go to a 5-5, five, five, and then I want to go to an E9. So if I go 1C, 1C... Hmm. One C, one C. One C. Five, five, E nine, one C. Beautiful. Gimlet eye, some extra range. There it is. Beautiful V. Red Joe's training starts tomorrow. Then it won't be long until you hear his name again. He has potential, that boy. Nice work. Until next time. All right. Ooh, that's a big chunk of change right there. That's our... You know what that is? And more. This is our uh, legendary cyber deck that we wanted before. Oh, look. We've got a better ping now. Let's get rid of this. Take this ping. Short circuit is better. 1334. 
There we go. And we can level. I think let's just go until we max out intelligence. We're so close to it. And maybe some quick hacks. Cyberdeck Ram cannot drop below. Spread distance. Devices. Quick hacks deal more damage is always nice. Automatically uploads the first demon in the list at the start of a breach protocol. That's really handy, actually. This could be kind of nice as well. Let's do this. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is look for his vehicle. I actually think we might be better off. On foot here. Mind you, if this thing moves... We'll see. It's like right in the middle of a dump. See if we can call ours here. Get in. Oh, Find cool. Easier to talk. Oh, that's even better. We don't even have our vehicle or need it. Hello, V. Know my name. How? When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? <laughs> you didn't I guess. My question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. So, I'm from another world to you. From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, V. There lies my home. Oh, I wonder if he knows Alt. Come on, let's get you back to Delamain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope y'all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit, an independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world, away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe you ought to figure it out with Del. Set some terms. Oh, yes. Terms there will be, but not with Delamay. What the? Farewell, V. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. Okay. I've reestablished the link. A thousand thanks, V. <laughs> that was an easy one, I guess. I gotta say, pretty disturbing that one. Is that so? Hmm. Well. I love how Delamain just plays it dumb. Account. Oh, really? I really want to see where those go, though. We only have two more, so... Anyways, let's head over towards... Where is she? Pen Am. I love this one. Oh, boy. This will be an interesting ride. Good morning, night. Nice Good morning, day. Stanley. Anyone out there had the misfortune of installing Sabertex Lotus faulting A joint? Trust me, you'd know. It bends every way but the right way. But wait. Don't swap it out for a new one just yet. In Night City, impracticality is always in vogue. You might just be on the forward edge of fashion.
There we go. Like some type of weird traffic jam ahead, but they're all piecing out. This car rides so much uh, like smoother than the others. Everything's a little bit less heavy. So before we chat with her, let's uh, read up on these shards that we picked up. We picked up on a bunch of shards inside the farm um, that are probably going to be dark. These are from somewhere else. Liberium Arb Arbitrium review. Pretentious banality dunked in a sloppy symphonic sauce. Chromatic rock pretender at worst. Caricature at best. Okay, sure. Heavy riffs. Check. Unique vocal growl. Check. Essence of the 60s. Check. But all of it gets drowned out in a flood of cliched dark tones. It's too much for even Neo Kitsch Geo f Gen fans to swallow. There's no punch, no curb stomp of edge. Honestly, by the standards of the genre, it's a fucking lullaby. I love to put this review to bed or in an unmarked grave, but I haven't even talked to the lyrics. They made me roll my eyes so violently I sprained an optic nerve. Nowhere was it worse than in the titular track Liberum Arbitrium, the band's anthem about the violations of human free will. What's the enigmatic evil depriving us of what matters most in life? Yep, you guessed it. Corpse. I yawned so loud I put the singer's growl to shame. The latest album from o Tainted Overlord. Oh, okay. This is the Randy's favorite band. Is nothing short of chromatic rock mix you burned a decade ago, erased from memory, then found wedged under your couch next to a dusty Carlson's burger. Diehards of the band will find something to scratch that itch, but anyone else looking for a fresh sound is better off blowing a concussion grenade in a cookware outlet. I think he liked it. I think that I think this person enjoyed that. The long return aftermath of the great nomad tragedy. Okay. Most sources indicate that the governments of Peru, Brazil, and Chile have come to a solution for the so-called nomad problem in an attempt to prevent the illegal transnational movement and typically temporary settlements of nomad clans across the South American continent. They plan to seal all borders to undocumented persons of dubious origin. Protestations from scholars, human rights groups, and even corporate representatives have thus far been ignored. Some corporations have voiced concerns that stifling the flow of migrant work could lead to economic decline and unpredictable social unrest. For example, some experts predict the local Brazilian workforce will simply be too small to meet the employment demands of ongoing major agrocorp ventures. This push for tightened anti-nomad immigration policies comes as yet another heavy blow from South American governments against an already heavily target, targeted demographic. These guys are like super struggling. More information continues to surface about the so-called long return where hundreds of thousands of nomads lost their jobs without warning and had their equipment, much of it personal, not company property, illegally seized by government authorities. It's so much, the nomads are so much in line with like um, what the Na Native Americans went through in North America. It's kind of crazy. Um, most laborers re were relocated from North America specifically for this work and without corporate support were forced to vacate the hazardous area formerly home to the Amazon rainforest in a week's time. With their only lifeline suddenly severed and no legal basis for staying, many dozens of thousands attempted to find a way home even if that meant walking much of that distance. Initial reports show staggering figures for the number who died during this mass exodus. Many still ask why, who benefits from these anti-nomad policies and border closures if not the South American nations or corporations. Many speculate that lobbyists from Orbital Air and other lunar colony representatives played a key part. Their objective, some allege, or some allege, is to limit opportunities for migrant contract work so more will be forced for the sake 
of survival to accept employment in the not notoriously difficult labor conditions of low Earth orbit and on the moon. Wow, that's scary similar. Juice, top fifth, top eight dangers. Juice is the animal's favorite drink. That's the, the gang. A, mi a miracle elixir, the dream come true of every scrawny twig limb skeletor that dreams of having boulders and chesticles. But is it safe? Apparently it poses particular problems for men. Eight problems to be exact. Here are the top eight dangers of using juice. It's like steroids, I guess. Uh, a temporary increase in sexual ability followed by a sharp decline. Men are also at risk of preaprism, perpetual erection. Uh, sounds shimra, but it could be painful. Geocomastia, enlarged breasts, often irreversible. Balding on the head, but increased hair growth on the chest, back, stomach, and legs. Changes in your skin, such as acne on the face and shoulders. Uh, kidney problems caused by increased protein, co protein content in urine. Uh, kidney scarring may be an indication of focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. Duh. Muscles may grow asymmetrically, often leading to muscle weave tearing. Prostate cancer, it'll hurt every time you take a piss. And finally, the winter liver failure resulting in jaundice and puritic rash, and even fibrosis and cancer of the liver. Still interested? Not scared of the risk? Well then, good luck. See you in the hospital. Yeah, that, no thanks. Okay. Here are the things specifically that we picked up in the farmhouse. He's trying to learn how to like manipulate people, basically. Teachings of the Temple. This might be from somewhere else, this one, but the... These three are. Uh, the welcome truth that sleep and death are twin sisters, benef uh, beneficent, healing, and vivifying is gradually making its way through the scientific as well as the religious world, bearing on its winos faith and trust in the fundamental lays of life, which underlie all phenomena, and casting down forever the great Moloch of fear, which stands at the gate of all men's minds, ready to devour each child of hope that has been conceived and born in the joy of life. Time and space are annihilated in dream life because of the rapid action of the energy of mind when freed from bonds of matter. And life in a state of dream is a foretaste of what may be when the coarser grades of matter, which now hold the embryonic God-man in bondage, are refined. And the energy which now must act under the difficulties man is ignorantly thrown up by unnatural, unwise methods and practices through countless uh, incarnations will then be guided and controlled by the higher or spiritual will of man for the perfecting of a body as much superior to the bodies of present races of mankind as the latter are superior to those of the animal creation okay weird understanding your teen teenage years are truly the most difficult period in a person's life not only is it a time of enormous hormonal changes in the brain but also a time of searching for one's own identity the teen starts to seek authority figures outside the family most often among his or her peers but also among celebrities rocker boys even fixers or mercenaries to become an authority figure to teens all you really need to do is have unique style maybe throw in a few nice phrases criticizing the system most importantly convince the teenagers that you and only you understand that's like basically <laughs> Sounds like he wrote it after figuring this out, but likely gave him a lot of motivation to find these kids. Manipulation. The most fundamental yet effective manipulation technique is that we call undermining for the manipulator to get the target to do what he or she wants. The target must first accept the manipulator's opinion as true or valuable. This is easiest to achieve by making the target feel inferior through harsh criticism. The more accurate, the better. The target will begin to yearn for praise from the manipulator, becoming more open to cooperation. That is, manipulation. And the joy of influence. Exude authority, speak with conviction and absolutes, and never ever lose confidence in yourself. Practice the rule of reciprocity. Make sure people always feel like they owe you something. Be unavailable. Make yourself seem like a very busy person whose time is more valuable than theirs. Even a meeting is a sacrifice. Demand engagement. Remember, if a client is forced to give you enough attention, backing out will be even harder. Make them like you. People who people like people who are similar to them. Never forget it. Wow. Yeah, that seemed to have worked pretty well for him. Okay. Let's take a break here. Oh boy, the car needs some work. When we come back, we're going to talk to Pan Am and uh, see where this leads. We got a lot of other stuff to do. There's just so many things and it's like, you never know what you're going to get into. It's the best. See you soon.